love. And you know I mean, it just comes like another form of prostitution. So, um, you know, what I mean, I just think it's about love, man. You know, what I'm saying I'm, I most definitely received the greatest love from my household, from my mother. And that's the and that's that same love that I'm giving to y'all in return. And I hope hopefully y'all appreciate that. You know, what I'm saying because, you know, I could have not been here just a year and a half ago. I was in those streets. I was out there. I was selling drugs. I was lifting up guns. I was running out there doing all that shit that these fake ass gangsters and thugs is, is celebrating on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm not no more. You know what I'm saying? And I'm most definitely changing. But I was like, yo, I changed my life. I stopped selling drugs. Like I'm supposed to get a doggy biscuit or some shit for that. No, I'm supposed to change and stop doing that shit. But, um, you know, just trying to go back to my community, help young kids, help people in my community. You know what I mean? Stay away from certain things. Learn how to use their abilities, their talents, and their gifts that they naturally have, like how I'm doing right now, and start creating in the, in the, in the business world and create in the internet world and create in all kinds of ways. What you're seeing right now is with that. It's like that. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody that has been making this platform a success. I appreciate everything that y'all are doing because it's not me, but it is the daughter of the sea. Blessings, queen. Blessing, 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 blessings to the queen. Blessings, queen. All right, now. I like that introduction. Oh, you know, that's right. I got to lay the flowers. You know, I got to do Rounds of applause and a whole nine. Okay. Whole nine. Okay. I got to lay the floors down. You I know what I mean? I see you. I see you. Okay, okay. Now you got to do it like King Jaffe Joe, like coming to America. You know what I mean? <laughs> Community, you know what I'm saying? I got to lay the roses down. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm a little confused because, okay, so are you saying that, okay, so the thing that you invited me to is that for tonight or are you doing that now? Oh, I had it set for tonight, but I don't know if the guy's going to stay on polite ass or not. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. okay. I've already got it set up for tonight, though. So if anything, if you see that one going up, you can just come in. Um, I, I'm going to email okay. you. I'll send that email out again. Um, yeah, you. I'll but how you feeling, though, man? You know, I just want a great mind, some great thinkers to build on some topics because this is yeah. the first polite, man. So we are going into our minds. And we no are doubt. liberating on his ass. Why not? The European. No, no doubt. For, for sure. No, and I wanted to know because um, that way I wouldn't um, go live tonight on, on where I am because I'd rather tell my, well, you know, I'll tell my audience I would have a come and just show you love over here. So just let me know what we're doing, you know? Uh, we um, doing um, koofies. We on so, koofies. Okay. Yep, That's what yep, we yep. <laughs> but what I will say in regards to, I don't even know. Okay, so if I'm repeating anything, I do apologize, audience, because I really don't know what y'all were talking about. Like speak prior to this, I'm coming in kind of last minute. Speak but your mind, queen, speak your mind, queen. We ain't apologizing the community. Speak your mind, queen. No doubt. <laughs> um. Think? So what was I think? Okay. So like in regards to that whole um, so the polite thing that's going on. This is, in my opinion, this is how I, I see. I see it for the most part, right? Like, it doesn't matter how, um, it, for me at least, it doesn't matter, like, what the outcome of mm -hmm. it is going to be. It doesn't matter at the end of the day, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Because I have very little faith in the justice system. I think I, I mentioned that briefly the last time. Last time I have, you did. With you too. Yeah. And I think that that can't be understated, right? So knowing just how, you know, mm -hmm. our judicial process and system moves, especially when it comes to black men, eh, you know, I'm I'm really not here for it, is what I want to say, because it's already a surface. So, but with that, I think that um, even if he's, let's just say that he's found guilty, he serves time, it's not going to be for a lifetime. And I think, so I think that for, and I, I don't know what, what anyone else is thinking, but like when I think of the effect of it, because we're talking about empowerment. So if I'm talking about the effect of it, I can honestly say that what goes on in that courtroom in regards to him does not really affect me or mine on a day-to-day -day basis. But what could affect, right, like the bigger picture in terms of, of the impact on me, it just reminds me to continue being extremely verbal with mine, right, and really having conversations always, always just, just talking. To, right now in, in, in the U.S. Senate, right, they're holding these um, committee hearings. Okay, with the with our uh, U.S. gymnasts, right? Simone Biles, Ali Hurston, all these top gold medal um, um, medalists, yeah. And the doctor that that I mean, this nigga is a real pedo Excuse the language. This doctor is a real pedophile. Okay, like like real pedophile. Okay, and he was the guy. He was the top doctor that um, 
that the that our U.S. Olympic tire right to kind of be in charge. So he had like a lot of power. And even though the FBI was um uh, CPS was notified, the FBI was notified. Money talks, right? This is what I'm talking about with the judicial system. And so right now they're trying to hold these hearings for accountability. Okay. And so I but the hurt has already been there. The effect, like you know, you see these young women who are all adults and they're still broken with this type of trauma of not feeling protected, not being protected. I said something and this still was allowed to happen. So when it comes to a, a polite situation, you know, I would just say to my sisters, number one, I'm very, I, I, I must give mad salutations because it really has been a lot of black women that I've seen that had channels just going hard on this nigga. It's been mostly men, that's been sort of like finding every other reason and, and doing these like, out, you know, outside of a few, including you. But I realized that at the end of the day, you know, clowns going to do clown stuff like that's just it is what it is. Right. I have I, I do not put my trust in anything that's going on and anyone that's affiliated with the likes of a polite. Right. But on a day to day basis, what is the effect? What is how is that going to impact you? in your life on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Because that's ultimately where the empowerment on the very local little level can happen. That's the bigger um, bigger conversation because polite is over there, but we got mad polites in our family. We got mad polites amongst our friends. We got a lot of polites in our school system, right? That, that you have contact with. So that's the, for me, you know, is what I think about, you know? But I, I really don't put too much stock in this. I don't. I don't. I agree with you totally, Queen. I agree with you totally, Queen. She said what she said, and she said, huh. okay, she didn't even wait for the flowers and the roses back. She didn't even wait for the King Jaffe Joe. Coming to America, coming to the community. You already know the vibe. That is Daughter of the Sea. Make sure you're checking out that channel, Daughter of the Sea. Make sure you're checking out her channel. Go and subscribe, man. Beautiful, beautiful, amazing queens, man. That's just vibrating on high levels, man. Shout out to all my kings. I'm still anticipating some of my kings coming to join me and telling me our thoughts. It just seems in the community, the women are like the leaders around here. It's crazy. I built Nubia. That's crazy. We built Nubia, y'all. <laughs> if you know about ancient Nubia, then you know about the Kantakis and you know about the four great queens of Nubia, the Candaces. And you'll get into those stories and how they cut off one of the Romans' heads and left it under her throne just to show her power. That type stuff. That's what our women was out here doing. Stop playing with them. Okay? It was cutting off heads, man. That's what women was doing in the ancient worlds, man. It was real, man. That's what Candace did. So, you know, shout out to her, man. But, you know, we got some great kings that vibrate in here. I'm just anticipating them. Hopefully they come out later on when we kicking off this great, great panel. 1030 tonight is going down crazy. It's going down crazy at 1030 tonight. It's going to be the people versus polite, a panel similar to this one. But we will be bringing up our evidences. I don't know how it's going to run. This is just something that's it's inspirational. Everything that I'm doing is inspirational. Most high ancestors, universe driven. You know what I'm saying? Like me creating this community page and this channel. And thinking of how I want to run this like with everybody and share everybody and advertise everyone and do all of that shit just for free, man. Like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I wanted to do. It's something that I, I really was thinking about. You know what I mean? And I just wanted to make it all about us. You know what I'm saying? And I shout out to y'all for, you know what I'm saying, really, really helping me to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I really never asked for things or nothing like that. Many people have offered shit. But you know what I mean? I didn't want the messages to get mixed up, man. I just want the people to come in, communicate with each other. You know what I mean? Have respect for each other, regardless of the, the religions or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because I haven't even brought mad religious in um conversation in yet. Feel me? So it's mad levels of this community of where we're going to go. And also, we already have like 20 community channels already built on um, West Africa, South Africa, North, East, so on, so forth. We got um, one community, Australia, one community, Canada. We have... um. One community, um, United Kingdom. I would love for Osun Yemi, um, Claire 76, a couple of people. So with each uh, community from every region, I'm going to have great leaders that are part of this community to help me to build those. Just like when I do the one in L.A., um, I like to have the, the likes of Gary Hawkins, um, even Misunderstood. 
Um, you know, just great people, man. People from their cities, man. You know what I'm saying? People that's doing stuff, you know what I mean? Um, everywhere. You know what I mean? We got we need Philly. We need everywhere, man, especially the major cities. Um, I didn't want to just limit it in the in the USA. But, you know, depending on how our people rock out and turn out from the in individual cities, then I most definitely rock those out for y'all too. So I'm with that. Um, shout out to Daughter to see. And she's back. Um, Semi. Semi, she's back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened, y'all. I don't know what happened. I said, damn, um, bombs are left smoke. I said, damn, yeah. they got scary. Damn, yeah. I said, you left smoke in her trail. I said, oh my god. Anyway, so yeah, no, that that's pretty much. I don't know what happened. My bad. Um, but that's what I was saying. I just feel like that's where the um, you know, the empowerment can happen, you know. And uh, but moving forward, I would say to to my people, you know, like don't don't lose faith at all okay a clown is going to be a clown an agent is going to be an agent you feel me you can only so don't lose hope it's too many of us out here that do real work on a day-to-day bit -day, on a day-to-day -day basis right we know too many of us too many kinfolk we got that are really good legit people and i know that sometimes when we come on social media and we group up it, it's very easy to sort of become a little turned off or you may feel like um what in the world you know, like, 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 wow, but that's entertainment. And I will just say, there's too many examples. I heard when I came in um, a few minutes ago, he was shouting out some of your pages that I didn't know that I'm definitely going to subscribe to, right? I just met my, my good brother, one coming, so I'm going to be a part of that. It's too many of us really out here doing the work. So, you know, this it, it is what it is, and it's unfortunate. Um, and I would just say, just, just, just hold to, like, I've been cut Sanetta off. Like I don't support it anymore. I'm no longer I'm subscribed. They don't get any of my donations. I make sure of that. That's, and I know that that may not be a lot, you know, but that's really what he needs, right? He's always looking for attention. He's always looking for a like, he's always looking for donations. And at one time I did use the support, but all of this, I'm like, uh, uh, no, thank you. And everyone that's usually associated with him, you know, either they get in a federal case, right? They're getting arrested or a drug charge. They're getting, I mean, no, thank you. I think that we have enough, um, I think that we have enough awareness, enough proof, right? Even if you have one eye, okay, that's working. I think that we all have enough proof to, to understand what we're looking at. You know what I mean? So that's about all. That's, I, I'll, I'll stop there. I agree with you totally, Queen. I most definitely agree with you totally. Ah, oh, boy, what can we yeah. do with a light ass? Yeah. Crazy that he sparked this whole outrage. It's crazy that his teacher was the last person to spark this outrage like this or to spark this big thing like this within the community. His teacher. Then after that, it's not a lot of people got locked up in the community. It's like natural to Hootie. And then they mentioned somebody else just now. I can't remember right now, but somebody else got locked up at the time. But the last person to really get locked up within like that's conscious, some so called whatever community was like yeah. Dr. York. And he's yeah. getting the same thing. Like, that is crazy to me. That's crazy. Mm. Except that he's not going to be under the jail. You know, Dr. York is under the jail. Okay. He's not, like, in jail. They got his ass under the jail. So, polite that he's not going to get that. That's that. I, I doubt it. That polite is not going to get that kind of treatment. Um, and then also, I, I, I feel that way very strongly, too. Because you got to understand that, like, you know, he doesn't work solo dolo right like there's a group that he's affiliated you understand he's affiliated meaning that um he, he has how do i say he has commitments that he has yeah. to fulfill you understand so if he goes down right go down. And, and we know that he's not built he has no integrity we know that his ass ain't built for nothing okay so a lot of other people are going to be facing charges and you don't want that you know because he doesn't act he doesn't act just by himself. Remember, in that, that even with the police reports, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I could be wrong, but my understanding is that the initial excuse was I was taking her to an after party at a club or something to that nature. And it is a club, right, that his quote unquote man's own, right? Mm -hmm. And even though we know that was a lie, but the fact that he had a name, that there was a club, and that if, in fact, let's just say that it was open, he would have been allowed to go in. This is what I'm saying about him, you know, um, not doing this by himself, you know, so. Mm -hmm. 
That yeah. is definitely true right there. If that's his people too. Yep. Yeah, but for sure. Wiggle out of that, man. Like, it's crazy. I, it's just crazy to me. But, you know, like, even what's going on now, even people is thinking about um, Dr. Inky. Now, everybody's flipping the script on Dr. Inky now. And they're saying that Dr. Inky had more to do with it. Um, is this more of a distraction to flip it on Inky? Because everybody know Inky probably did a little one-two scam with him. We already got that. But I'm just saying, though, is this about a one-two scam? Or is this about people them is really doing the wrong thing by children right now? Because this is what's blowing the whole can of worms out, is that people is doing this is an explicit things with children. You feel me? So yeah. none of us really think that Inky's guilty of that, right? We don't feel that. So I think whatever they, with Inky, with the scammy, whatever they, I think about Inky, I think that could wait too. You want to gun down Inky? Everybody want to gun everybody, stick it out the window. I get it. Just like Inky want to stick it out the window. Okay. Everybody want to do that. But I think that you need to hold on for a second and deal with polite first because polite is the only one with actual charges a lot of things is allegations these ain't no big alley this is allegations and charges yeah yeah i think um well with inky lord okay so uh, to be honest with you i don't i i you don't trust i felt myself becoming really really annoyed with the Inky and Morris World TV show, right? I was getting a little bit annoyed with their skits. I was getting really annoyed with the with, with the foolishness that they they both, you know, because on the one hand they want to act like they're here for the people and they're here for the expo but it's not. We realize that these are all skits, right? So every time that Morris World wanna expose Inky, this shit is a skit. It's it, they just, you know, behind the scenes, they both agreed on it. Like really I can't even call it childish. I don't know what to call it. I I don't know. I really have not grown up around grown men who act like this. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm being very honest with you. You know, I think that we all have intuition. So listen to it. Right. I don't necessarily. Inky does not. When I look at Inky or, you know, I think he's intelligent and all that fun stuff. But in terms of me caring enough to even want to hold him. To the same standard as a um, corny polite? No, no, because I, 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 I just don't. I don't take them seriously. You know, uh, it's foolishness to me at the end of the day. And the one thing that we know, and we tell our kids, is the same thing, right? Like birds of a feather flock together, right? So we understand that when it was beneficial to you, right? Like when, when it was beneficial to you, and you were seen as as one of pol polite lackeys, it was fine. It was fine. But the minute you wasn't breaking bread anymore. Now, all of a sudden, you have so much to say. Nobody cares. I'm sorry. That's just, that, that's my thing on it. Nobody cares. I don't. It's on deaf ears I now. Don't. I on, don't. Mm -mm. Everybody's trying to Not run, associate themselves from them, and all of this is going on. But then we see this big smear campaign on everybody now. Everybody's throwing everybody under a bus, a truck, a plane, something right now, right? Trying to get yes. it off polite because it really comes down to polite because polite is a titanic right now you know what i mean regardless of the fact if he gets imprisoned or not he's just like a titanic even like a celebrity when you're a celebrity figure you know what i'm saying and once you get like caught up in, the, in any little situation it don't have to be this drastic people be like uh, i can't be seen with you right now eh, it kind of make you like a sinking ship you start bringing other people down you know what i mean and this is the life that he has ran or he is glorifying that vanity of that life. That is a life that he really praises. He already told you that money is his God. So yeah. when he's speaking, he's really speaking to those celebrity friends. He doesn't really care about other people. And that. also, let, let's be clear now. Come on now. Now, okay, because I know I, I know, um, my family up, is up in here because I see a couple of names. I see some of my tribe up in here. So let's speak because um, I know we all, okay, let me not assume. Let me back that shit up real quickly. But if you know damn well that outside of the lifestyle that he, you know, always has always glorified and, and, and that's just the thing that he's chasing. Um, with that, we also know, on the other hand, is that, you know, this, this uh, farce of being a polygamist and his wives and him being, you know, they're all cohesive and they make all their decisions together. As we, I, you do know that that's not how it, no. how it is, right? No. I hope y'all yeah. clear about that. That's a fact. Like, like, like you guys already know, right, that there's no cohesion. It's all for camera, right? 
And so how you can tell that is usually when whoever the new girl is and polite usually will have her on camera and every time something happens, you'll see her, right? It's, an, it's, a, it's, com it's a complete agreement amongst them all, which is why I've said that the wives also need to be implicated. You know, the wives also have a lot of guilt in this because they see what's going on, right? I don't think that because they're females that they should be allowed um, or have no culpability. Absolutely not. If anything, I, I, let me tell you, as a woman, I'm telling you, right, we're very, we're very, very, very intelligent and we always plot our moves. So if he's going to go down, which he should, right, but what about those females with him, right? All these grown-ass women Complicit. that co-sign, that was okay with it because they were, you, you know, that's wicked. So, so the, the, the rabbit hole goes deep. It goes really deep. It's not just that face value of it being polite. And, and we also have to remember that it wasn't anybody. It wasn't an Inky. It wasn't a Morris World TV. It wasn't a Sonetta. It wasn't anybody really to actually put criminal charges on him, right? It was a woman mm -hmm. that he was dating at one time. Just think about that. Just think about that right there. And from that, you, you can tell who's been jumping out the window trying to save themselves. You can tell. It's not hard. And then also, you also got to do, well, you should be looking at paperwork on the, on the law firm that he's hired. Not even say he, that they hired. Be very oh, careful about it, right? Yeah, oh. they, they shady. I showed the video about how they, come on the, now. The time, they put the video talking about how to get off of a pedophile charge, a molestation charge. If you're charged with a molestation or some shit like that, this is how you get off or some shit like that. So that's crazy. That they even posted that in August. They posted a video in August. You could go to Rawson's Law Firm on YouTube and you can find that video. But you can also find that here on the community. All you got to do is scroll down just a little bit. Shout out to Sister Nandy, 3GP up in this bitch. And she says, Sinetta is a bitch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sister Nandy, she don't play games. She don't play game. Um, Hi, Sister Nandy. How you doing? Shout out to Sister Nandy. Sister Nandy, you don't come up here ready, man. What's going on with you, man? Don't play around, man. <laughs> Shout out to Sister Nandy, man. She's a true one. She's most definitely a true yes. one. Shout out to her. Sure. Subscribe to her channel, man. We need the community, everybody in the community. Show love to everybody in the community. And that's what the channel's built for. It's built to help us to just build with each other, man. Help channels to monetize, help channel to get these subscribers up. You know what I mean? We're going to build, man. See, here's the thing, right? Uh, here's the thing. When you are trying to, this is like human psychology. So think about it. When you are trying to uh, make someone pay, right? You, you really want them to learn a lesson, right? Uh, you should, I mean, anyone would know, you go after the, very, the one thing that they desire, that they worship, right? Maybe for you, for example, it could be, it would be your freedom, let's just say, right? Maybe for me, it would be, um, Children well. I don't know, my family. Let's say for someone else, it might be money. Maybe for polite, which you've already said, right? We know the only God he serves and he worships, right, is the almighty dollar. That's the most important thing to him, right? So when you cut that, right, now, because already in his mind, and he has already said that the, com that the community that we're speaking of, that we have, we stopped supporting him long ago, and that the money that he makes and his success and da-da-da didn't necessarily come from us, the community, right? So... In his mind, he's like, I don't care what y'all think. Y'all can say whatever. That's why he has that attitude, right? Like, oh, well, oh, well, I don't care, I don't care. Because the same quote-unquote community, right, um, he feels like, oh, well, y'all don't support me anyway. The people that I'm around don't look like y'all anyway. This is, what you know, this is the craziness that's coming out of this nigga's mouth. And we already know that um, Polite has no problem running names and numbers and IDs. So, more, more so than anything, it's going to be quite interesting, right? Because again, if he goes down, it's going to, I'm telling you, other people have to be implicated. 
It has to be. It has to be. Side netter number one. What the fuck are you talking about? Side netter coming too. What are you talking about? All his yeah. people that were doing scans with him is all coming back. Everybody coming out. What's the name? The next guy that came out, the old guy that was been King Simon. Everybody coming cool. out. To- the old man that just came out yesterday was talking to Talker Bay. He came on Talker Bay panel that yesterday. So, um, King okay. Simon, that's the first guy that ever bought Polite out. You know what I'm saying? Because Simon said, nah, I mean, I'm not the one that's responsible for Polite. It's King Simon. But then they oh, played the, then they play the Simon the video. We say, I made you. I took you global, man. All that shit wow. didn't mean shit, man. I took wow. you. So at the end of the day, Sonetta claimed that he took Polite and made Polite when in front right. of him, Polite and told Polite that. But now he says that he didn't make Polite. So I right. don't know how that goes. Right. Yeah. He's, a, he's a goddamn fool. Yeah, he's man. A, a That's disgusting. Cool. Yeah, I mean, plus he's trying to get, Saj's trying to get the 150K to go sue Tasha K. Um, but he, I heard he was stuck at 3K. Oh, really? 3K. I heard the, um, the, the the yeah the money the GoFundMe is at stuck at um I think two thousand and like nine hundred dollars if I'm not mistaken um yeah. I wish the hell I would I wish the hell I would I <laughs> wish the hell I would don't eat any I do not fuck with that man no more and it's sad and I'm sad and I'm sorry on behalf of her, I must say y'all I don't know y'all even care but no as a as a you know I was born and raised in Harlem I'm telling y'all right now we are embarrassed okay we are embarrassed. We are fucking embarrassed. And the bottom line is, the co- and, and I have to take responsibility in this as well. But, you know, the best kind, I think like the best kind of punishment, like it's like, you know, if the community has encouraged this and, and quote unquote made someone, we got to take care of it the same way that we made it. We can't look outside of ourselves to fix the problem, if that makes sense. Makes you know sense. what I mean? Mm-hmm. But... That That's sense. just how I think of things, you know? Yes. Oh, you in Harlem too? Let me find out. I'm, I was born and raised. We in the town. I was born and raised in the whole day I... <laughs> hmm Yeah, yep. I think so too, man. We got we to gotta be able to, you know what I mean, yeah. weed out conversation, speak no, no. about And we can't listen to certain people. Like, you know what I mean? There's a couple of people online talking about you can't talk about this and that. I had one. I spoke to one on Sweet Mind for Life panel. That was why I came the truth. You know what I mean? He was oh, going God. Um, then I spoke to another guy a couple of days ago, me, Angelica, and um, QI. We got a chance to speak to this guy named Drama House Big Hen. Drama House Big Hen. Shout out to Drama House Big Hen. But um, I don't know, man. He was he came on and he was he came in with a little energy towards me. I'm like, what the hell you got energy towards me for? But um, anyway, we were just talking, you know what I'm saying? And he was making all these things saying like, you know, what if the mother gave the daughter away? Like if the daughter... Cause they, asking good questions qi the ladies was asking him real good questions saying like you know what i mean so you're saying like if the one if the mother gave away the daughter to you as a man he was trying to say who's wrong you know what i'm saying i would say i was wrong you know what i'm saying i said i'm wrong i'd be wrong. person was a goddamn fool i wouldn't give a fuck if that person was a goddamn fool no matter i'm not a goddamn fool you know what i'm saying so i would be wrong that's my personal thing. You know what I'm saying? So he was saying, I mean, I was like, fuck it. I wouldn't be wrong. So I got to blame that mother. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like he would do it. He wasn't saying that he would do it, but he was kind of sounding like that. So the women was like, mm. so I'm kind of like letting him go. Like, just let him talk. You know what I mean? I'm really trying to figure out what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? So then the women was asked. So I asked them, like, do you have daughters? Because we're having this whole conversation about polite, all of this. He coming in like a troll. He talking about this and that. He talking about if the woman gave away the daughter, it's okay. it might be okay. I don't know what he was saying with that part. But um, and that stream is on here too. You could go down here. It's like a two minute clip. It says, "Um, man, brother, polite fan, whatever, whatever, go sideways, whatever." So, <clears throat> so then they asked him if he have daughters. He doesn't want to answer the daughter question. Why? Why don't you want to answer the question about the daughters? That's what I want to know. Why don't you want to answer the question? I'm like, yo, bro, you got to go, man. If you ain't going to answer a simple question as your kids, man, if you can't claim your goddamn kids right now, oh, you got to go, bro. And we're talking about some people hurting kids? Oh, you got to most definitely go because you're showing us a lot of little funny little things. I don't know if you drunk or you high or whatever happening right now with you, but you're not looking real right with us. You know what I'm saying? So the women like, you got daughters. He like, um, yeah, I got three. After a while, he says he has three, but then he goes on a tangent of disrespecting the women, so I had to boot him off the stream. Um, but, you know, it just goes to show he had his own view, and people are thinking, like, people can't speak about this. Um, yes, Saida! <laughs> Angelica Diallo. Saida. What's up, y'all? Y'all can hear me? 
I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Salute. Salute. Got the queens with me. Most definitely got the queens with me. Waiting for my kings to stop playing games. But my queens, I told you, son, the queens are different. And I'm rocking with the queens. Yo. Um, real quickly, I'm sorry. Uh, the v- Veggie Gasm Cooking Channel. Hi, sis. My name is Daughters of the Sea. Come up, Daughter sis. Daughter of the Sea. Um, Veggie Gasm. Why don't you just come on up, queen? And let's um, Daughter just of the sea, yeah. conversation. Thank you Daughter for asking. The sea. Okay. My and bad. Hi. Hello. Hope, it's, hello, it's sis. of the sea. Queen of the sea. Nah, daughter's good. I'm fine with daughter's. <laughs> no queen over here. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Uh, yeah, though, man. So what's y'all thought? Saida, shout out to Saida. She's been dropping some mega, mega bombs in the chat. You know what I mean? Angelica been dropping some bombs in the chat as well. Salute to these queens. Most definitely putting in a pain, putting in a pain, helping us to gain out here. So what's going on? What's on your minds, queen? Any one of y'all? What's up? Saida. What's up? Saida, are you muted? Saida, we want to hear you. Are you muted? Hopefully you're not. I see your thing muted like you are not. No, you're not muted. So is your mic mute? No? Make sure. If well, not, you have mute. somebody named Woke Society that feels Woke like. Society. Come up. Yeah, Woke, Woke Society uh, wants your attention because he's called. I, I, I don't know if he's calling me a clown or us a clown. <laughs> and. Aida, come back in right there. All right, cool. It's all right. I don't know what that's matter. about. Okay. But we would love to, you know. Woke Society, the Brother Polite platform, and have a conversation on Raikun 2. <laughs> Raikun 2. You could go to Raikun 2. That's it, man. Because a lot of people are showing their true colors of who they really are. And even though you're coming and attacking, sometimes it's true colors. But I don't know who that's for. That could be for somebody in the chat. I don't know who it's for. I no, think- no, he's talking to us. No, no, no. Uh-uh. All messages need to be lettered and sent. Put a stamp on it and you send stuff. I don't send no because that goes right back to send or whatever you said. So put a stamp it, address it, and then you send it out. You know what I'm saying? That's how that goes, woke society, because we are really in a woke society. And if you are woke, right. you're the new. So, um, yeah. But we're not for the distract. Yeah. We're not going to pay them no mind because we're not here for the distract. Yeah. Here, nobody get blocked so you could get ahead. But if you say too much and crazy, then you might get the award of being the first person blocked. Uh, and don't do it. Because <laughs> we're not here for the bullshit. Facts. Um, yes, Queens, what's up? Um, Saida, can we hear you now? Say something, Saida. We can't hear Saida yet. Hold on, Saida. It Hold looks on. like she's talking. It looks like you're talking. Hold on, Saida. Hold on. All right. Come back in now, Saida. Come back in now. Everything should be tranquilo. You know what I'm saying? Everything should be tranquilo. Let's go. Everything should be bueno, bueno. All right, cool. Let me see if this one goes. Looking for some sounds. You are Saida. Now, see, she had a logo before. I don't like when that does that. Sometimes, I don't know if it's, I don't know. I don't know. But her bars is on total bars. A bars is on total bars. So let's try this one more time, Saida. Let's try this one more time. You go on and come. Oh, there she go right there. Shit. Come back in one more time, Jada. <laughs> <Shit. laughs> Damn. Got rid of the uh, best right now. I got rid of Carmen San Diego. She out here for real all around figuring out this information, nigga. Fuck you, me. Saida San Diego. Fuck you, me. <laughs> Saida. Why we can't hear Saida? I have no clue. I, it looks like she's talking. He is talking. And your thing is not on mute, Saida? Because you're not on mute here. Nothing is on mute. And we are waiting for you. You know we got to speak to Carmen San Diego. <laughs> you might have to go through her settings, maybe, when she's trying to click your link and make sure that it's on audio. Oh, yeah. You could probably do something with the audio when you're coming in. Maybe that's it. Maybe, yeah, as soon as you come in, fix the audio. So I'm going to move you one more time. So soon as you come in, it got like an audio button and a, and a video button down there. You can um, make sure your sentence is right probably in there, maybe. That's a possibility. Oh, there you go, Veggiegasm. Veggiegasm. Can we hear you? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Hey, hey, um, I just wanted to say thank y'all for the covering. Um, peace, peace. I've gone to you today, brother, and to you today, because I was just like, I really like what you guys have to say. Um, 
I'm driving, so I'm multitasking, but I, I was, I've been following what's been going on with the case as much as possible. I'm following Inky, I've been following Chalka, and I'm, I'm not a fan of Sonetta. I've never been, but <laughs> I have been looking at his page and listening to his videos as well. Every day I was in to kind of, um, you know, to kind of see what, and listening to us back and forth from everyone and, and kind of watching what's going down, and it's really, really sick, and it's really, really um, messed up, but I really appreciate this is saying that, you know, don't become discouraged with the community itself, because, you know, everyone is not on that on that vibration. Everyone is not operating right. on that vibration. Um, That's right. I, and I definitely think that people need to um, um, mention these wives a little bit more, because this is really, really crazy. Um, mm -hmm. and I think that there's a lot more to the story with that. I, I, I mean, personally, I, you know, I'm a follow-up for late. And when the stuff came out about the allegations that they were saying about Renenta, um, Sparrow and, uh, Sarnetta started saying that that first time I heard about that, I stopped following immediately. Cause I'm like, that's, that's just weird to me. Like, oh, I can't rob nobody or support anybody that is, you know, into things like that. Um, myself being a victim growing up as well, but even more than that, I used to work child abuse investigations. I used to um, work foster care and different things like that and children within that capacity. So um, it's just really crazy what's going down. Polite, what really bothered me is that nor his wife seem to have any kinds of... Um, remorse, like you were mentioning, like you guys were mentioning earlier, you know, there was one post that the, one of the wives put up about drinking all this wine or liquor, and she was like, I just drunk somebody's mortgage. And if there's, and, you, and if people are saying that you guys, are, are, you know, are scheming, or there's a, you know, speculating that you guys are scheming and all kind of stuff, why would you put that? I just, I just don't understand the way people be moving and how all of this is okay. You know what I mean? It's just really, it's just a really weird and odd situation that I just think is disgusting. Um, it gives, uh, and a lot of our people, I feel like, are putting the, you know, well, you know how black people, no, this ain't a black people thing necessarily in my head. This is just how people that move like this move, <laughs> you know? So I, I just appreciate it, you guys, and I just want to say that. Well said. Well said. No, yeah, you, well, well said, well said. And I'm definitely going to be following you guys. I, I appreciate and respect everything y'all was saying about um, what's going on, how people are responding. You know, everybody trying to protect their neck right now. <laughs> so yes, it, it's yes. very interesting to see these things unfold and everybody pulling up each other's dirty laundry. But these are things apparently everybody on the inside has known for several years. Yes. Yeah. So it, yep. it, it baffles me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Because we yeah. always talk about that 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 go along get along game, you know. <laughs> it's true. It's true. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It definitely is. And I'm from the Bronx. So I'm people are bad. <laughs> like this is crazy. Like what? is going on and if this is supposed to end of the quote-unquote conscious community and nobody's behaving consciously like one thing that's a constant uh, pattern of the quote conscious community a lot of the people at the forefront a lot of them can't sustain relationships but how do they push the biology of family relationship? a healthy yeah. way like it's weird it's not yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No, I definitely appreciate y'all covering and covering what's going on with this case, man. Yep. Yeah. So it's really sad, you know. And for the victims, and for anybody, boy, girl, that's ever been sexually violated, you know, I. I I can only imagine that it brings up old trauma as well, you know, especially when you have, especially if you have, if you're hearing 
the response, you know, be excuses or doubt or, you know, people um, willing to get into arguments and people willing to, you know, over strangers, no less, you know, I can't imagine that that feels good, I, you know, and it's very unfortunate. But you know what? I'm glad that these things are coming to the forefront because as I stated on one of the other shows I called in and I was saying that um, masculinity is being redefined right now. It has to be mm. with all the shifts and things that are happening. And this idea of society is trying to get rid of masculinity, especially out of men of color, trying to get rid of it. Mm. And, and, you know, there's also the underlying thing of this false sense of masculinity. Like if I have all these women, if I can conquer this, if I can be in control, then I'm a man. And so now we're seeing who is really manning up and who's not. <laughs> and we're seeing um, this new, you know, breaking these old traditions of, oh, it's okay for a man to be 30 something with a 15 year old girl. You know, a lot of this stuff is tearing down and I appreciate that it's, tearing down and coming to the forefront as well. Ooh, can you hear me? Sorry, I'm multitasking. <laughs> yes, uh -oh, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just sounded so quiet nope, for a second. Right point. Yeah, it's, um, this is a time where it's, it's a time of a lot We lost you, sis, but you guys, um, hello, daughter, yeah, I'm still here. I, I think we lost, um, Miss Vegigasm. I, I really just wanted to come on here just to show the update of what the clerk office had. I'm not sure. I know. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, I have to wait for Uda to allow it. Um, he said the, I mean, did you read his comment? In yeah, I, I saw it. Okay. But yeah, I, I definitely agree with both of you ladies um, in regards to um, Sister Veggiegasm um, talking about the re definement of what mascul masculinity means. I, I think that's really important. Um, and I think that that is gonna be something us as women, we're gonna have to sit back and watch and see what that looks like. Um, and then I guess make our responsive moves from there. And even when it goes, even when it goes back to your initial point of, you know, even though this case doesn't affect us as individuals on an individual level, um, that there has to be a sort of awareness and being more vocal. So I, I do believe um, greatly in both of those points. Um, but yeah, I, I just really wanted to come on here. I don't know how to increase this for y'all. Um, and show what the new update is. These Hello, are the... We can hear you. Hello. Okay, I had some problems. I'm glad to hear your voice. Thank you. So are you guys looking at the updated court record? Because I'm looking at it as well. Yeah, I just wanted to show this um, online so people can view it and kind of make their own determinations about it. So these are the two previous charges that have the no action. And it looks like it was moved up to here. Um, and these are the new filings um, since August here, according to the dates. So I just wanted people to see that so that way, because I know a couple of folks earlier were, um, you know, questioning what the update was. Has anybody gotten an update? Um, but I know you have some information, so you can go ahead and, and, and share your piece. Wait, is she going? Why am I? <laughs> um, can you hear me? Saida, are you still there? Saida. 
so I, you know, you I don't know. You hear me, right, Angie? I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. The Queens is there. I don't hear Saida now, but I hope I hope our mic ain't messed up again. We just heard it for the first time. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Aim to get the bust the plug, Saida. Damn, son. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's really important that, you know, people, um, and I've said this from the beginning, that people kind of take this information and come and draw their own conclusions from it. I mean, we can discuss all day whether he's going to go to jail versus whether he's not. Um, but I think like the sisters were saying um, again today is that overall, you know, just awareness um, for both um women and men, including their children, um, is something that we definitely have to focus on. And in the nuance um, with dealing with sexual devi deviancy and child abuse is something that I think that particular conversation has to continue because there's many people um, that are victims of this, you know, whether it be in their childhood or even as adults. And I think it's something that really needs to be discussed in our community because I think kind of like this hush mentality that we've had on it has been um, detrimental to us. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know really how many times I, I can say that there's just so much trauma that we're dealing with overall as a community um, that I think discussion helps and some folks may not necessarily agree with that. Um, but I do think that it is a step towards healing. Um, and I'm a firm believer that, you know, healing comes in these sort of waves and ripples where when one person starts to um, move more towards uh, being more uh, proactive about their own internal narrative and correcting that sort of pattern of trauma, um, that it has a ripple effect on their immediate family and then that ripples out into the community. Um, but yeah, that's really, I all, I wanted to come in and say, I didn't really have much else until later on tonight. Can I ask a question? To me? Sure. Oh, you know, to anybody, you know, oh. uh, in regards to the updated charges that um, was on the shared screen, can, um, is it possible for you to explain what that means for those who may not, you know, necessarily understand? I'm sorry, you cut out on me. Could you repeat that again? Yeah, I was asking if you can go over what it says that the on the screen and like what it means for people who may not um, understand. Uh, give me one second because I just closed those screens. Just uh, hang tight for a couple of minutes. I'll pull it back up for us. We waiting for a screen share from Angelica Diallo right now. We're live with Daughter of the Sea, Angelica Diallo and Saida right now. We are live and we're talking about this whole situation. It is the people versus polite. We are the people. He you, is polite. Yes, we hear you. We hear you, Queen. Okay. So does anybody think that polite, I'm sorry about like all the malfunctions and stuff that was going on, but this is my thought. He didn't show up to the court, right? So I'm assuming that maybe he's going to be on the run. Like, has anybody seen him on the internet today? Like, on any kind of social media um, platform? I no. know there were a few people that said that he was supposed to be going live today at 4. But nobody it has seen him since the court date. Like, the, the official, like, you know, the court. I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything about it. I haven't heard anybody talk about it. No, I haven't and heard his, it. And his supposed wives haven't been online since then either? Oh, you know, they out the way. You know, ain't nobody trying to be seen right now. <laughs> they low and low right now. They low. I, ain't nobody seen them. 
I wonder if he's going to be on the run because, like, he didn't go to court. He can't and run. They just yeah. now increased his, um, they want to increase his bond. And his charges, too. Yeah. Like, if you look at it, it says that um, a stay away order was filed and then the, the, they put in a motion to increase the um, bond and some other things. So I don't know. He might be on the run. Yeah. Um, I'm from now, what you folks come were. Up, bro. <laughs> Why can't you got to come up? This is the people verse polite, son. And later with the panel at 1030, your mind got to be on here, too, because this is a jury. Ain't no biased jury. We don't want no hung jury, rigged juries. So we want everybody with their own opinion. And if someone has their own opinion, it is YK the truth. So that will go to show you there is no biasness in does, community. He got his own opinion. And we'll go for Drama Big Hen, too. Remember who we was talking about the other day? We bring his I ass. Mean, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in having that dialogue. Absolutely. Like, I, um, again, like, I... It would it it wouldn't be kind of me to say that people aren't allowed to have their opinion about this case because I mean if I have an opinion then there has to be a counter argument to that right um, so I think you know kind of just going through all the information um, that we have up until this point you know and just having that discussion I mean it doesn't mean that you know people's minds are going to flip. That's that. That's definitely probably not what, what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. However, I do think that the conversation in essence is important. Um, but everybody may not agree with me when I say that. But what I'm, I'm sorry, I know that um, sister wanted me to pull up the, I'm also trying to pull up the actual law for it on um, online sunshine, because I don't want to misspeak when I read out what I see on the county clerk's office. So yeah, for sure. Um, because I think that, um, I think in, uh, Angelica, or is it Saida, that was um, asking the question of whether or not he'll be on a run? Yeah, it was. Oh, Saida, okay. <laughs> Hi, Saida. Um, I was, you know, I doubt that he's on the run, right? But I was thinking that I had two questions, and this is why I was asking if, if you know, we can look at that one more time, the updated um, court transcripts and read what's there, um, is because, you know, I'm pretty sure that his lawyer, right, like one of the arguments, especially um, like during pretrial, if you're, if you're trying to select your jury, X, Y, and Z, right, I'm pretty sure that his defense attorney is going to, is, is more than likely going to say something to the effect of because my client is a, um, you know, uh, how do you say it? Because my client is in the public, right? He's a public figure. Um, he's already been, um, um, you know, like in, in, in uh, what am I trying to say? In the public's opinion, for example, you know, he probably, he feels as though people have already made, you know, made their decision and verdict. And we don't think that he would have a fair trial. So boom, 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 which is an argument, you know, that many um, defense lawyers make if their if uh, client, you know, is considered a public figure. That was number one. And then the second thing, though, is wondering if, like, like wondering if it was the prosecution that had put in a motion. Like, was it, um, you know, on their end, you know, like to increase his bail? Um, and increase his charges. I'm, I'm really curious about that piece. You know what I mean? How that kind of conversation happens. And whether or not, I'm pretty sure it's legal for him to not show up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but what would be the implications of that? I don't think that that's, I could be wrong. I don't know. But I don't think that that's, uh, that that's, wrong, that's illegal in, in pretrial hearings. I don't think it's illegal either for him to not show up, but I'm just wondering, like, if you're so innocent of something, why wouldn't you want to show your face? Does he skirt? You know that. Well, he's a he's a um, online influencer. I mean, you know, could you imagine, like, if your brand is about what people see of you, and then you know, as this court case comes about, people are seeing your face going to pretrial for, um, you know, 
all of these charges, I, I don't think that would necessarily look good for his brand. So I, I'm pretty sure his his attorneys, just based off of the information that I've seen from their YouTube channel, they've probably advised him um, not to show up and they would take care of everything because according to them, they can get people off that have been accused of yep, child molestation. Yep. So um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a conversation that they had with him. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what I was saying. And then also, oh, he's scared for his life, you know, that kind of argument. And, you know, he's a public figure, and there's already been a lot of negative press around it because of that, and he's not going to get a fair trial. We were thinking if we can, because I don't know, uh, those of you might have been more of an expert in terms of, like, Miami law and your penal codes. I don't know how that rocks, you know? But I know that, you know, he's like, oh, can we move it, or can we, you know? There's a lot of different um, um, ways to go about it. Like I've been on the internet, like surfing YouTube all of this morning. And I'm telling you, none of the um, Tahaka Bays, none of Sinet, nobody was touching on this. Like they're radio silent, like death. And they're talking about nothingness. Because they know it's the 15th. And they know that for the few people that were actually going to, because from how how it sounded to me personally, it seemed like there were like at least six or seven people who said that they were showing up to Miami, right? The Harker and, base, he was going to come in a van and then his child's mother passed away. So he said he wasn't coming plus the van needed to be worked on. But it was, I'm just, so, it was just so weird because yesterday, before he had his live with um, Inky, Sinetta reached out to him. And so Sinetta goes live before Taharka and says that Taharka and him made up and that um, Taharka, Taharka agreed to not speak about anything in a negative light towards Sinetta on his um, live anymore. So then T Taharka Bay, he goes live and he says he didn't say that, but he did, they just, you know, he's not going to come for nobody who's not coming for him. So the only way he would come for Sinetta is if Sinetta came for him and that he had a conversation um, with his wife and that they had some kind of business dealings. And I'm like, what business? And so he had a whole like smackdown fight with because him and Inky had a live schedule together. And so Inky calls him out and says, hey, all of a sudden you have this conversation with Sinetta and now you talking about stuff and trying to, you know, kind of throw me under the bus and say, ask me why, how long I've known Polite and all this other stuff. And I, just, I was just kind of wondering, like, really truthfully, I mean, you can like Inky or not like him, but what I can say is this, is that, Inky has been speaking out to an extent about the situation more than Sinetta or the rest of them in that camp is what I want to say. Yeah, that, that's, that's true. true. Um, I do think that, uh, so for me, as far as Taharka is concerned, I'm not so much... Um, you know, sideways or looking sideways at him because of the issue with the car. Um, what comes across a bit strange to me is um, he had made a few statements in his live last night um, where, when, especially when he pulled up the text messages that he had with Inky, and he was saying that, um, you know, he told Inky that they needed to talk about it. Um, and then there was one bit where he said he laughed and he showed the smile, the, like the laugh emojis. And then he said, because he, he knew that Inky is, essentially was suspicious. So my problem with Taharka specifically is if you knew that he was suspicious or he's a suspicious character, then that also means that you were using him in mm -hmm. order to air out what nobody else was willing to air out. So right. that that's mm -hmm. my takeaway from it. Um, whether or not, because I've heard people talk about, you know, why would you buy a car that needs all this work done to it? I mean, it could easily easily be said that, you know, he bought the car based on how much money he was um, donated mm -hmm. and that kind of limited him to where he could purchase a vehicle, right? Yeah. Um, lemon law. So there's a lemon. 
Right. Yeah. So <laughs> he did say that. But yeah. So, um, I mean, we don't know how much money. Um, well, at least I don't. I don't know if he actually told, you know, all of his followers, but um, I don't know how much money they donated him. But I'm not upset with him for um, not showing up, especially if, you know, the mother of one of his children had passed. So th that's one thing. But I mean, like I said to me, and I had said that all in his live, like, I feel like this is usury. Like if you knew from jump that you felt like this man was suspicious. And I, and I had even said in that chat, I was like, well, why didn't you guys do like the, you know, airing out of Anki? That should have been the very first video to kill all that noise. Because everybody, whether or not they think Anki hasn't done any wrong or whether they think Inky has done wrong, everybody looks at him as suspicious. Like you have to, there's no possible way that you can tell us that there wasn't anything that you did or did not know about with all of that time you spent with Polite. That should have been, I mean, that to me, that goes without saying. So if you know this as a pretext of a person, then the first thing that should have been done to just kill the noise is just to have a sit down with Inky and say, hey, well, you know, there's a lot of controversy surrounding you, brother. Like, let's talk about this and then we can go into the rest of the information and whoever else is complicit. Um, but no. that never happened. That only happened, and this is another interesting part, that only happened when the phone call came from Sonetta's wife, which again is interesting, but you know, I'm not trying to poke holes into Taharka because it's not about him. Um, but yeah, so um, the whole thing is, is just really interesting.